If we don't get caught, we won't get caught. It reminds me so much of fan fiction. How could I have been so blind? Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing a reading vlog, kind of. A manga vlog, kind of. I'm gonna be doing the one chapter challenge, except that I'm going to be doing it for all of the manga that I only have one volume of, or like just a couple, but I haven't read yet. So let's go to the bookshelves. One shelf in particular. Oh no. The bottom shelf full of manga that you can't see. We're gonna get all these out. So part of my reason for doing this was that I was reminded of the manga that I own because in a recent kind of Q&A writing vlog video, someone asked me if I read graphic novels. And my big thing with graphic novels and manga in general is that it's very expensive to go buy volumes. And I'd often use my local library as a means of like, getting my manga fix. But I've recently been getting more into anime again, which then of course leads me to getting into manga again. So I figured I would cover what I tend to read and then I have pulled out some of them that I have the volumes up that I have not yet read. So yes, let's go over things. First off, I've talked about this multiple times before, but I do a yearly reread of Fruits Basket because it just makes me so happy. So happy and so sad. Like this, oh God, this series destroys me each time. I'm talking about like ugly cries, sobs, it wrecks me. But it's so good and I actually feel like I learned a lot about storytelling through Fruits Basket, which I th think I first read it in eighth grade. I had a girl in one of my PE classes that let me read some of her copies and then I got hooked ever since. I bought all of them now and yeah. So if I had to say my favorite manga, it would be Fruits Basket. But I also own Tokyo Boys and Girls. It's complete. There's only five books that I'm aware of. I like it, but I also like don't remember why I got into it. And like, it's not one that I regularly reread. Fushiki Yugi. Mine is the mysterious play and not the one that it continued on with. I also have this book series was Avalon High by Meg Cabot, which I adored the book of. And then they really changed quite a bit of it in the three book manga, which, well, can I excuse you? There we go. I don't think it happens now quite as often as it was for like this golden era of young adult where YA was getting transformed into manga, but my goodness, I loved it. Like that is a bucket list item for me as a writer. If someday my work could be transformed into a manga series or a graphic novel series, Okay. I also have a random collection of Peach Girl, which I do know is also an anime. Lots of these are also anime. Boys Over Flowers, which is like trash, but the weirdest kind of trash. I love it unapologetically. I also read it way before theoretically I should have been reading it, but it's much like any other kind of reading. Age ranges, adult stuff is just suggestions, right? So now let's get to the good stuff or the stuff that I am going to be reading this time. So first off, Hanakimi, which I actually only own the second volume of and I don't know why. I think it was recommended to me. I'm debating this one because I kind of want to wait. As far as I can tell from the back, it's about this girl who's attending an all boys boarding school and kind of the hijinks that ensue from there. Then we have Ranma One Half from the creator of Inuyasha, which is 100% the reason I'm sure I picked it up. I've actually read all of these, but I think I'm due for a reread, especially because all I remember is that he changes gender, but I can't remember why at all. Kurocha is another one that I read with a friend. She's the one I actually watch Inuyasha with, so I think I should maybe reread this one. Let me put these in different stacks, actually. Potential rereads. All right, so here's the first chapters of the ones I haven't read. Bleach. I know almost nothing about Bleach. So, volume one summary. Strawberry and the Soul Reapers. Ichigo Kurosaki has always been able to see ghosts, but this ability doesn't change his life nearly as much as his close encounter with Rukia Kuchiki, a soul reaper and a member of the mysterious Soul Society. Okay, okay. While fighting a hollow, an evil spirit that preys on humans who display psychic energy, Rukia attempts to lend Ichigo some of her power so that he can save his family. But much to her surprise, Ichigo absorbs every last drop of her energy. Now a full-fledged soul reaper himself, Ichigo quickly learns that the world he inhabits is one full of dangerous spirits and, along with Rukia, who is slowly regaining her powers. It's Ichigo's job to protect the innocent from hollows and help the spirits themselves find peace. Oh my god. Okay, so I was like, I don't know why I picked this up. This is right up my alley. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Option one. Option two, Full Metal Alchemist. I'm sure both of these, like this one says, as seen on Adult Swim, and I know this was an anime. I don't know which version came first. Oh, this one says the original manga behind the hit anime and video game series. Okay, that answers that question. <laughs> I've never read it and very excited. Also, frankly, 
like lots of things where I just vaguely see it but haven't like watched it or read it myself, I don't know much about it. So alchemy, the mystical power to alter the natural world, something between magic, art, and science. When two brothers, Edward and Alphonse Elric, Okay. When two brothers, Edward and Alphonse Elric, dabbled in this power to grant their dearest wish, one of them lost an arm and a leg, and the other became nothing but a soul locked into a body of living steel. Now, Edward is an agent of the government, a slave of the military alchemical complex, using his unique powers to obey orders, even to kill. Except his powers aren't unique. The world has been ravaged by the abuse of alchemy, and in pursuit of the ultimate alchemical treasure, the Philosopher's Stone, their enemies are even more ruthless than they are. Dot dot dot. The original manga behind the hit anime of the game series. Okay. This is interesting because because compared to the other ones, it's like the title is, you know, kind of on the nose. Full Metal Alchemist. I mean, kind of, yeah, Full Metal. <laughs> and one that I've actually watched a decent amount of the anime of. Or in High School Host Club, but I have not read the manga. So once again, how similar though is this one with Hanakimi? Because Haruhi, I guess she, She didn't, she was just forced to work for the club, right? Okay, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know. In this screwball romantic comedy, a poor girl at a rich kid's school ends up working for the school's swankiest club and gets mistaken for a boy. One day, Haruki, a scholarship student at Exclusive Oren High School, breaks an $80,000 vase that belongs to the host club, a mysterious campus group consisting of six super rich and gorgeous guys. To pay back the damages, she is forced to work for the club and it's there that she discovers just how wealthy the members are and how different the rich are from everybody else. Stop, stop. Dot. Oh my god, how did I not see this? A must have for all Hannah Kimmy fans. The plus side, if I decide that Bleach is the one that I wanna continue, I actually do have the second one. So here's the other thing that I'm thinking. Once I finish taste testing these, my library actually does have Full Metal Alchemist and Bleach. Does it have Orin High School Host Club? Durin, uh, excuse you computer. Don't try and think for me. No, it does not. Zero results. But. Your girl's got a $10 Barnes & Noble gift card, so I could do that too. And without further ado, it is time to read. Oops. <laughs> I'm thinking we will take Bleach first and go read outside with the little pepperoni. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Ooh. Ichigo Strawberry Kurosaki, 15 years, hair orange, eyes brown, occupation, high school student, slash, soul reaper. And now we're on to chapter two. Okay, this is so good. <laughs> Something that I love about manga is, let me see if I can find it, its ability even in like tense moments to interject humor. Gosh, when Ichigo meets Rukia and Rukia is explaining the good spirits versus the bad spirits and then draws a little mustache <laughs> on Ichigo, like, it's just so good. Also, yeah. I'm a fan. I think I'm actually gonna finish this volume and then move on to the next one. Probably Full Metal Alchemist. Or maybe I'll take a break with Orin High School Host Club. Kind of switch up the genre a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, he's just looking at me now. Oh, yeah. Also, it's gotten a little bit darker. I love their banter. <laughs> oh, the slow reveal of information. Doom! Doom! Oh, we left off at such an interesting part. No! No! Oh, next volume for you. I really do love that they have this kind of stuff too. It's always so funny as a writer because some people really love building out character profiles and there's very few instances where those are actually useful other than like a fun behind the scenes thing. Maybe in the age of social media they're actually more useful because you could post them as like, I don't know, like to get hype built or something. But you know, it's so common to actually have them filled out in manga and I just think that's so cool. Even as someone who does not actually do them myself. But I'm excited for volume two tomorrow. I'm tired. Ugh. Good night. Good morning. It's a new day and it is time for me to take a break from work and read Orin High School Host Club, which actually I had to move all of them off my bed so that I could sleep last night. <laughs> so we're just gonna awkward sleepy. And there we go. <laughs> oh wow. 
It's interesting that this one's not divided into like the sort of chapters. So I guess maybe it wasn't originally a serial. Admittedly, I'm not entirely sure how that works with manga, but I do know that sometimes they're published in different places before they're like combined to make a volume. So I almost wonder if that's what it is because Leech very much had a break in the chapter and then it was almost like previously on. I don't know. <laughs> Another thing I always appreciate about manga is like these kind of author's notes within it or within the translation at least. It reminds me so much of fan fiction where you were allowed to like literally just randomly put an author's note anywhere <laughs> even like mid-scene you're like by the way I just want to clarify something or like to make it funnier and I think it definitely serves the purpose here a lot of the time just to add some context but also is like a ha <laughs> ha between the author translator and reader. It's time. Okay, I was wrong about the chapters. We do have an episode two, so maybe it's just not put at the beginning. I do see episode one now. How could I have been so blind? Okay. <laughs> I really appreciate this manga for its ability to push the next like episode along while still introducing the characters again. I know I relate everything back to writing, but that's something that I know I need to work on for my Meridian Map series, just because the amount of time a reader might be between when they visited that world in that book, you need a little reminder. So maybe I can take something away from this besides just that the manga is great. <laughs> the end and a bonus episode. <laughs> I love that Oren High School Host Club is just as ridiculous in manga form. I figured it would be. I could kind of tell from the first couple pages. The concept is wild, but juxtaposed against like Bleach and what I think Full Metal Alchemist is gonna be, I don't think it's any more ridiculous. One of the, like the genres are clearly different, but in terms of how realistic something is, I always love that contemporary is judged based off of the realism, which I think is like an aspect of the genre, but I appreciate that manga, what's contemporary doesn't have to be realistic. And that is so much more fun. Although I guess you could argue some of those CW shows, not realistic at all. It's fine. I don't know if y'all can tell. Look at how much like glossier this is. It just feels fancier in the hand. This one I really remember being on TV and just never really watching it. Like I would see it sometimes, but... Ooh. Wow, it's a lot darker too. Like a lot more dark space. Interesting, okay. There are chapters. So already I love how different this world is. We have like a god that's completely different. Our full metal alchemist, which is the um, not little one, <laughs> says he's agnostic, and we immediately have some kind of possible intrigue. Yes. All right, and I'm finished. That was so good too. All of these were so good. I do have a new favorite phrase though, because you know, if we don't get caught, we won't get caught. I did find full metal alchemist to be much more like an adventure saga, clearly. Like I could see how that one would have is that the longest one? I could just see how it could potentially be the longest because there were a few of those where it was like one-off stories where they weren't connected and then others where I could see that they were like laying the trails for something overarching. I don't know that I could pick a favorite of these three, but I do know that specifically for the one chapter challenge, I have the second volume of Bleach. So I think that this is just by default what I'll do. And then since I know Oren High School Host Club I think is on Netflix and I'm pretty sure Full Metal Alchemist is on Hulu or something, I could continue the anime while I wait for my library to be open. I got options. So although I know you're supposed to like choose one, the whole point was to choose one, I think I'm just going to choose all of them. 
in different capacities. Please do comment down below. Let me know if you have a favorite manga or a favorite anime or anything that you would recommend that are similar to these three stories. Yeah, but that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. A slave of the mat- A slave of the military- Alchemical complex. Wow. Now Edward is an agent of the government. A slave of the mat-